survival gardening, drip irrigation. This video explains how to grow vegetables in the dry season using a simple drip irrigation system. This system can help you feed your family. It can even supply you with extra vegetables to sell to provide income for your family. You will first need to construct planting beds. Please watch our other animation on raised planting beds to learn how to construct the raised planting beds in preparation for drip line placement. Your slopes will likely not be as steep as the slopes shown here. They are more likely to look like this. Place two drip irrigation lines on each one meter wide raised planting bed. Be sure the drip holes in the irrigation lines are turned upwards. This will ensure that each plant receives the same amount of water. Make sure to place the drip lines 7 to 8 inches or 18 to 20 centimeters from the edge of the planting bed. Secure the drip lines in place using wire staples, fox sticks or other materials you have available. Be careful not to poke a hole in the drip lines. Next, make a stand for the container that will ultimately hold the water. The bucket or other container should hold at least 20 liters of water. The bottom of the container needs to be 1 meter above the planting bed. If you use a larger bucket or barrel to water several planting beds, make the stand slightly higher to provide more water pressure. Connect the drip lines to the container. Burn, cut or drill a hole at the bottom of the bucket to match the size of the connector. Attach the connector to the bucket. Insert the feed lines into the fitting. Once the connections are made, be sure the bucket is secured to its stand with a wooden brace, rope, string or wire. Use what you have. Next, connect the feed lines to the drip lines. A special connector is needed to make the connection. Cut off a two and a half centimeter piece at the end of the drip line. This leaf will be used in the next step. Fold two and a half centimeters of the end of the drip line over itself. Slide the cut off sleeve over the folded drip line to provide a seal at the drip line end. Note that the drip line connection procedures described may vary with different drip line manufacturers. Be sure to follow the instructions given by the group of company that manufactured the drip lines. Cover the top of the water container with a cloth to serve as a coarse filter. The cloth will help filter out materials that might clog the drip filter or the drip line. The cleaner the water you use, the less likely the drip hose will become plugged. Now you are ready to add water to the container. As the water flows down the drip lines, it will begin dripping out of the hose. It is best not to make additional hose in the drip line. If your hose are desired to place your plants further apart, seal some hose with electrical tape or other available material. Use the wet spots at each drip hole to identify the location to plant your transplants. Use your hand, a stick, or a small trowel to make the planting hole. Plant each of the plants at the same depth as they have been growing. If the plants are tall and thin, plant them a bit deeper. For example, in the case of tall thin tomato plant, place the plant so that the stem is covered to the first leaf. 
after transplanting is complete. Filling the water container again or providing additional water with a sprinkler can be a good idea. The additional water will help the plant survive the shock of transplanting. If water is limited, only water at the base of your plants. Next, mulch the surface. Place dried plant materials such as grass cuttings or straw on the raised beds. The mulch will slow down the loss of moisture from the soil, lower soil temperature and reduce weed growth. For every 15 meter raised bed containing 100 plants, you will need to provide 20 liters of water both morning and evening. Remember, one raised bed will produce enough vegetables to feed a family of 5 to 7 during the dry season. Extra planting beds will produce food to sell at the marketplace. With drip irrigation and mulching, 3 gallons of water can result in the production of 1 pound of vegetables. In order to optimize your production, it is best to plant 2 rows of plants in each raised bed as shown here. With drip irrigation, every drop of water can benefit the plants. Even in the dry season, your garden will be productive. With the use of compost materials, raised planting beds and drip irrigation, you will improve the soil nutrient level, allow more air and moisture to enter the soil and increase vegetable production. 